four a how many three digit numbers can you form using these digits if the number is odd and no digit is repeated so we can see that odd will be decided by three fives and seven at the unit digit so we have three candidates for the unit digit so how many are left for the first the good news is there is no zero so we have to write the remaining one though we have written three here but only one of these three will be used so remaining are four so four will be used here and remaining three will be used here so the answer will be nine times four thirty six B part of the same. Eleven traders seeking a hotel accommodation were informed that the three vacant rooms, which could take five, four, and two people respectively, in how many ways can they be accommodated? All right. So they are total eleven. So for the first room, we will select five of them. Any five in any order does not matter. That's why we are using combination. Then remaining are six. Five are selected, right? So remaining are six. Out of those six, we have to select four people. And then finally, two people are remaining. We will choose two out of them. And that will be our answer. It does not matter which room we fill first. If I want to write, the answer can be like this. I select four first. So 11C4 multiplied by remaining a seven. Out of them, I choose two. And then the remaining a five. So it becomes 5C5. If you notice, if you put both of them in your calculator, you'll get the same answer. So it is not important which room is filled first. In both cases, answer comes out to be 6,930. Okay, let's go to the next question. Number five, they have given that uh, there are two options for breakfast in a hotel, yam or plantain or both. And this Venn diagram shows this. They're asking us to find the value of y. So if we add all of them, they should be equal to 48. So uh, let's add all of them. 2y minus 1 plus y plus y minus 3 squared equal to 48. 2y plus y is 3y minus 1. And let me bring this also minus uh, 48 here. Only thing remaining is this. We have to open this uh, square bracket. So let's do it. Y squared plus 9 minus 6y equal to 0. Let's simplify now. Uh, y squared will be alone. But 3y minus 6y is minus 3y. This is minus 49 plus 9 is minus 40 equal to 0. So now let's factor this out so that we get answers. You can use a calculator for quadratic. So according to me, it should be y minus 8 and y plus 5. So this gives us y equal to positive 8 and y equal to negative 5. And negative cannot give us positive numbers it's like this y. It cannot be negative 5. So we will have to reject this answer. So the value of y is 8. Okay. B part. What is the probability that the guest selected at random chooses either yam or plantain but not both? So for probability, we should have uh, numbers that favor event and total numbers. All right. How many of them are uh, having yam or plantain, plantain, but not both. So let's count them. This is yam, but not plantain. This is plantain, but not yam. So we can put the value of uh, what the y value of we got eight. So eight, if I plug in this place of y, it will be eight times to 16, 16 minus one, 15 here. And this will be eight minus three, 5, 5 square is 25. So total are 15 plus 25, 40. And total we have 48. 
we know that. So it will be 40 over 48 and that's the probability uh, 5 over 6. A particle with uniform acceleration of 6 meters per second squared, acceleration is 6 meters per second squared, covers 45 meters. So S is 45 meters in the 6th second. This is the key, 6th second. So let's try to show this with a number line. 0 to 1 is 1st second, then 2, 2nd, 2nd, 3rd second, 4th second, 5th second and this is 6th second between 5th and 6th. So let's find how much distance it goes up to 5th, then how much up to 6th and then we can subtract and we'll find how much distance it traveled in 6th second. So time equal to 5 first. Let's call it 5. So S equal to UT plus half AT square. Okay. S, let's call it S5. Equal to U, we don't know, but time we know is 5 plus half. Acceleration is given to us 6 and 5 square. 2 and 6 can cancel out. So, uh, S5 comes out to be 5U and uh, 25 times 375 plus 75. Okay, similarly, let's find S6. After 6 seconds, how much did it travel? Again, U times T, which is 6 plus half. Acceleration is 6 and time is 6 squared. So uh, S6 comes out to be 6U and again we cancel this. 36 times 3 is 108. Okay, here they're saying that it travels 45 meter in 6th second. So that means S6 minus S5 is 45 meters. Yeah, the distance up to 5 is subtracted from distance up to 6 and we'll get the difference which is the 6th second. So S6, we got 6U plus 108 minus S5, we got was 5U plus 75 and which was equal to 45 meters. So, so 6U minus 5U is just U. 108 minus 75 will be 33 equal to 45. And if it goes to the other side, U comes out to be 45 minus 33, which is 12 meters per second. The magnitude of a force Pi plus 20J. Okay, let me convert this into column notation. It will be easier to visualize. P20. That is the vector of a force. Its magnitude is 29 newtons. Find the value of P. Okay. So to find the magnitude of a vector, we should use the magnitude formula, which is the square of the x part or i part plus square of the j part. Okay, so it will be how much? P square times 4, it is equal to 29. So square both sides. So square and square would cancel out. P square plus 400 equal to 841. So P square equal to 841 minus 400. P square equal to 441. Square root both sides. So this gives us P equal to square root of 441 will be plus and minus 21. That's why they have used the word values, not value. So we have two values of P which are plus and minus 21. Direction of the force correct to the nearest degree. Okay, since we know this is now 21. So let's take the positive one first. So it goes uh, in X direction, 21, positive and positive 20, which is upwards. And this will be the direction of the first force, which will be tan, Theta equal to 20 over 21, opposite over adjacent. 
theta equal to tan inverse 20 over 21 and similarly the other one will be let's call that one okay let me draw it first so it will be it will be minus 21 in i direction which is the here and then 20 here so let's call this alpha so this tan alpha will also be the same thing only thing is the reference will change so let's see what is tan inverse 20 over 21 i got this equal to 43.6 but since they said we have to write it correct to the nearest degree so the nearest degree to this will be 44 degrees but one of the resultant is uh, 44 degrees uh, anti-clockwise to the positive x direction the other one possibility is 44 degrees same angle but with clockwise to negative x direction these are the two different uh, answers for the same question